Good afternoon, good morning, or good evening. This is a video series for those just starting with Java, perhaps for a class, or just picking up the skill. In this video, I will show you how to download and set up an IDE or an integrated development environment. There are many different IDEs such as Eclipse, NetBeans, or CodeBlocks, but this series I will be using JGrasp as it is easy to set up and simple to use, especially for those just starting out. So first, we need to download the Java Development Kit. It's what allows your computer to run Java applications. <clears throat> so go ahead and open up a web browser and I will put this link down below in the description. And then from here, all you need to do is select your operating system and download the correct file after you accept the license agreement. So go ahead and download that. I don't need to download it again because I've already have it installed. But once you have it downloaded, go ahead and run it and just select everything as default. You don't need to change any settings and everything should be perfectly fine. So I'll give you guys a few minutes and come back after that. Okay, so once that is installed, go ahead and we'll navigate to jgrasp.org and we'll click on the download jgrasp up at the right corner and I'm going to copy and paste this link as well in the description so you can just skip right to this page. Again, you just need to select the correct um, package or EXE for your operating system. And go ahead and download that. Once that is downloaded, go ahead and run that and keep everything as default as well. So I'll give you a few minutes to go through that and then I'll see you in a minute. Okay. So now that all that is installed, let's go ahead and open up JGrasp just to make sure that it's working. <clears throat> it might be a little bit different when you first load it up, but this is what the screen should look like. You might need to accept a dialog box or whatnot when you first open it. And that's pretty much it. So you now have a Java development kit installed on your machine and you have an integrated development environment installed as well that you can uh, write code in. So that's pretty much it for this video. Feel free to leave any comments or questions below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.